I'm going to start off this video with saying Modern Warfare 2 does have movement to use and abuse. Whether you believe it or not, I'm here to change your mind. I'm going to be giving you guys sort of a movement guide to help you improve and understand how to really use these mechanics from jump shotting to drop shotting to even dolphin diving. Let's get right into the video. And for the first thing we're going to be talking about is jump shotting. So in Modern Warfare 2, jump shotting was nerfed a bit. And by that, they removed the bunny hop. And the bunny hop was a very advanced technique, but it was also very good. In Modern Warfare 2, you you do want to engage most of the time with a jump shot jump shotting is going to be your best friend it's going to be your source of cameraing people if you don't know what cameraing is it's basically jumping around a corner very quickly and challenging your opponent and catching them off guard and essentially getting that peekers advantage so if you ever see the pros play or any good players play they are jump shotting a lot because it, without a slide cancel and with the TTK being so fast in Modern Warfare 2 well your only best friend is to do something like that is to jump shot around a corner so essentially the main time you want to jump shot is around corners if you if you do this if you peek someone here you run away and then you guess what you jump shot into the fight ironically there was someone somehow there jump shotting is a slightly slower ads if you jump shot ads it is slightly slower than just regular ads it does have a little bit of delay and the key to this is you want to ads while jumping jump ads jump ads you want to ads mid-air you want to ads before you even around the corner like this that way when you're already around the corner you already aimed at your target and you can shoot now this doesn't mean you can jump shot mid gunfights jump shotting mid gunfights is still valuable and it, it is good and if i were to say one thing i would say jump shotting is going to be your best friend in terms of hammering people and just movement in general on modern warfare 2 it's definitely going to be the one you want to engage with most of the time like 90 percent of the time you want to engage with a jump shot if you can if someone is camping a corner or a hard cream like this well your number one friend is going to be to jump shot around a corner but this jumping and pre-aiming before is very key it's going to be one of the difference makers if, if you jump around a corner then ads midair you're going to be dead you remember you got to pre-fire the jump shot ads now the infamous drop shot one of the oldest movement mechanics in call of duty but still actually viable in mw2 one of the biggest things is drop shotting around corners can be very good if you basically jump shot and pre-fire the drop shot around a corner you can get some kills one people don't expect to check this little corner of any room or building when you're, they're pre-aiming you so basically it'll look like this you want to kind of angle it and time it where by the time you drop you're peering in their screen versus they kind of see you drop so you kind of want to crouch then drop around a corner like that and they're not going to be looking at you and i've done it against pro players i've done it against some of the best players in the world it's going to be your best friend to kill someone maybe camping a corner like uh, holding the angle on you and also even if you're one shot and you just kind of come around the corner like this you're going to have a better chance and there's another way to abuse this mechanic a little bit if you do this and you don't see anything you strafe around a corner and now they, they're gonna you're gonna appear on the screen out of nowhere and then you can shoot them so this movement is very good on top of that drop shotting is a little bit slower in mw2 if you just drop shot like how you would normally do it it is a little bit slower and they basically kind of nerfed it but obviously really quickly when you drop shot you want to ads drop shot and shoot you you can start shooting before you even fall down completely to the floor but basically it will look like that right ads shoot and start dropping to the floor that's kind of how you want to uh, utilize a drop shot to the fullest ads start shooting it as you're dropping to the floor but like i said it was nerfed and there is a better way to do it and it's called essentially the insta drop shot and the way to do this drop shot it's very freaking good and it's actually crazy is that you want to sprint forward for a second and then you want to back up and drop so this is how it's going to look like sprint forward drop shot backwards sprint forward drop shot backwards and it's gonna you're gonna notice one you're gonna drop slightly faster to the floor than you would just doing this you see that little drop but instead you're gonna do this you can tell the difference you're dropping on the floor a lot quicker than you would normally now this is a very insane mechanic it may not look as crazy on my screen but when i'm doing this it looks like your body just flop, plops now for the next movement mechanic i'm going to be talking about is sliding now you can a slight cancel in this game they did nerf it they did remove it for the most part but there's still a way to do it but let's talk about sliding in general first is sliding viable well a lot of pros don't really slide because when you slide you can't shoot to the end of the slide which therefore it's not that good you're kind of a sitting target like you're just kind of with your gun down you die fast so you usually never want to use your slide unless it's like to slide away sliding just regular slide is usually used to disengage kind of slide behind cover uh that's usually the only time you want to use your regular slide because it's not as op it is it is in this game 
but you can do a sort of a slide cancel in modern warfare 2 like i said it did get nerfed but it is a way to engage with the slide and the one tip i will give with this is you want to do it kind of time it around a corner so let's say i know this guy's here i'm gonna slide why why challenge and basically you're gonna able to shoot mid slide and it's gonna catch people off guard they're not always gonna expect they're gonna see you sliding around and they're not gonna know that you can shoot your gun right away but basically what you want to do is you want to yy or triangle triangle or basically put your swap your guns but don't commit to the swap and it's going to look like that now this is mainly good around corners like i said you want to kind of time it by the time you're around the corner you're kind of ending the slide and you're able to shoot your gun because if you do it too early then obviously i mean it's not going to be that good because you can't shoot immediately yet right so you kind of want to time it like that and i could do it right here show you one more time kind of like time it a little bit and boom now to pair it with that movement there's also another thing you can do which is another way how to slide cancel which is it's harder because it requires something uh it requires a semtex but it is slightly better when it comes to shooting your gun in the slide so you're basically going to want to slide pull your semtex out and then bring it back in but at a very fast um movement and it's going to look like that it looks pretty crazy you can see it's a little bit more responsive with the slide cancel but you can see it's it's a little bit faster it's, it's almost like a combo right like a more like a like a fighting game combo and this is another way to do it it is better but it requires you to have the semtex and you can't you can't use your semtex so you got to keep that in mind but it is a it is a slightly better version of the yy slide cancel it looks probably pretty crazy in their screen and it's pretty good now for the next one we're going to be talking about is dolphin diving now dolphin diving isn't completely useless i'm not going to sit here and say i want you to dolphin dive and shoot your gun because it takes two seconds to even get your gun out to be able to shoot but you can utilize dolphin diving with one escaping from a, a nade a stun you know any tacticals you're able to dive away from it it's happened to me multiple times where you know i get to a spot i, hear, I see a nade and i immediately just dolphin dive away um it's definitely beneficial it's not completely useless or let's say you're pinned down one shot um let's say they're they're watching across you're about to get pushed from the left you're one shot you're like damn i don't want to do this you can either slide away but it can be a little bit slow uh usually dolphin diving can be, be utilized a little bit more here so you can just dolphin dive away and it'll usually save your life most of the time so that's kind of where dolphin diving comes to play i will not i will not say here engage with a dolphin dive unless you absolutely have to like if a nade comes in you dolphin dive away and then like a guy comes in front of you then obviously you're you know you can shoot him and you might have a chance to kill him uh but dolphin diving is mainly used to disengage and kind of get behind cover but it's going to take me to this next bonus tips so something to note with your tactical sprint it is going to be your fastest movement and as you can see you sprint very very fast but the one thing you need to understand in mw2 right now is one ttk is so fast that holding a pre-aim can be more beneficial at times unless you hit someone with a nice camera but it usually doesn't work in this game as much where you can just kind of run out and just challenge somebody off tactical sprint so you got to be very cautious while you're tactical sprinting of the gunfights you're choosing and the, and like basically the angles you're taking or if not you're probably gonna end up dying so something i always recommend is like again you could you could go around a corner get some information you know basically hit a little shimmy or a little shoulder as we call it and then you can kind of tactical sprint out or you can jump shot out one of the last tips of this video is you can reset your tactical sprint three different ways so when you're tactical sprinting you obviously eventually will run out if you have double time you can sprint farther but you eventually run out and you start hitting a regular sprint and it's definitely slower doesn't really have much momentum and you really don't always want to be doing that one so a way to reset your tactical sprint is one by punching the air as soon as it runs out you basically just hit the melee boom you're able to full tactical sprint again you hit the melee you're able to tactical sprint again and you can say this is a way to maneuver around the map if you're trying to rotate somewhere wide or hit something fast that way you're not just sitting at the the normal sprint another way to do this is dolphin diving when you're sprinting and you're about to run out your tactical sprint about every two to three seconds you want to dolphin dive this is going to also reset your tactical sprint and it's going to allow you to sprint farther the good thing about the dolphin dive is like well you're not punching the air you're actually moving forward so which is nice and i do like the dolphin dive it's just another way to do it and for the last way you can do this it's called the ads spam but for this one i think you need to have automatic tactical sprint on to work so basically you're going to want to maneuver around the map and you're going to want to spam your ads and this one is kind of crazy one you're kind of ready for a gunfight and have your gun up at all times but two this thing is unlimited unlimited with the dolphin dive and the punching you kind of have to stop completely to like kind of utilize them uh with this one you just spam ads pretty often 
you don't always have to spam it but you do kind of have like you have to be careful because if you don't do it well enough it will it will um remove your tactical uh, tactical sprint so you do kind of have to spam it a little bit but you literally can hit the unlimited tactical sprint forever which is pretty funny and pretty cool at the same time that this is even a thing but honestly i mean when a game where premium helps and premium is very important use it another op mechanic in modern warfare 2 is called snaking and it's utilizing the drop shot and doing it very quickly but basically is you want to prone and go back up and and leave and do this basically move forward with your automatic attack sprint or you just sprint forward and prone and just and go back and keep doing it over and over again this makes you a very hard target and you're also allowed to get information this way it's been very broken the past couple years in call of duty uh, i think they try to nerf it a little bit but if you do it this way it's actually still really good now the way they try to nerf it and the one downside is if you ads and do this you're going to notice like i said the drop shot got nerfed it's very it's a lot slower right so the key to this is you kind of want to do this pretty quickly and then you want to ads as soon as you're at the top and kind of shoot you kind of want to time the ads like that and basically that way you're not just adsing the whole time but you're adsing at the right time even though there's less movement in modern warfare 2 there's still a lot of mechanics that you can use that the pros will be abusing a hundred percent and you're going to see them in scrims and tournaments using all these things now also this is going to apply to basically warzone 2 so these movements in this game that you're going to be seeing me doing and learning is basically going to be a lot you're basically allowed to do it in, uh, in warzone 2 on top of nw2 so you definitely want to get better at these things you know from snaking to jump shotting mid-air uh to insta drop shotting uh these things are going to be super super uh useful so make sure to use them make sure to get used to them as always man drop that like subscribe to the channel comment down below what other tip videos you guys would love to see me do and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace